deforestation is a big problem in Guatemala and deforestation rate is, uh, is, is very high. We are losing forests and well, that is a, a huge problem in Guatemala. Um, agriculture, cattle and urbanization are some of the drivers of deforestation and degradation in the, in the country. So that is why uh, we saw the need of uh, starting restoration activities. And that is what we are currently doing and what we talked about here. <laughs> well, the idea is that um, through restoration, we can obtain other positive benefits, such as poverty reduction, alternative or, or economic alternatives for people so that they can do something else or perceive incomes from the forests or just ecotourism, for example. So that is the, what we want to, to get from restoration. Other, other benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, we finished the national map of uh, potential areas for restoration, which identified 3.9 million hectares available for restoration. So that was a big effort uh, at the national level. And now we have to prioritize which areas we are going to restore first and where. We are also working on the national uh, restoration strategy, which has to be finished this year. So um, I think those are the main plans right now. One of our ideas is to, to help other countries in the region or to give maybe some good examples about what has worked for Guatemala. We, we can also, of course, learn from other countries, such as Mexico, who has done uh, research and, and invest, well, things also in restoration. So um, I think it's both ways. We can learn from others and we can, we can also teach or inspire other countries in the region. Well, I've seen some agroforestry system experiences which um, are encouraging because you can see that people actually perceive that it is a better system than, than what they usually did before. So I think that is encouraging. Or for example, shade, shade coffee. In, in the agroforestry system category, there are a lot of successful experiences that can be inspiring. Yeah, I think Guatemala is considering making a bomb pledge, the hopefully this year. So I hope we get to prioritize those, those areas that are going to be part of the bomb pledge.